Greetings everyone and welcome back. So, the Tekken King will feature four new strikes, one of which is the Echo Chamber, a PlayStation exclusive strike, and so I thought I'd go over some of the glimpses we've seen of the other yet to be revealed strikes. So, one of the strikes is called Shield Brothers, as we found out in Bungie's Year 2 livestream, and is part of a quest called the Legion's Beachhead. Its description reads, The Guardian's assault on the Cabal Skyburners entrenched on the Dreadnought. Now we've seen more of this strike than you might realise in various trailers and videos. Now keep in mind that some of this is a little bit of speculation and not definitely confirmed. So on board the Dreadnought there is this massive Cabal starship that has crashed into the Dreadnought's hull. Well that crash was not an accident, in fact it's a beachhead as we discover in this little bit of dialogue shown in this gameplay here. It says, that's not a crash site, it's a beachhead. Only way those doors will open is to send reinforcements, draw them out. So I'm willing to bet that this is part of the strike, probably somewhere near the beginning. In the Vidoc we also get a shot of this Sunbreaker Titan about to take on this Cabal Goliath tank, which I believe could possibly be a mini boss you encounter once you enter the Cabal ship. The reason I think this takes place inside the ship is because the blue interior matches the blue exterior of the ship. Now, the final encounter in this strike is not one Cabal boss, but two Cabal bosses, hence the name of the strike, Shield Brothers. This boss fight looks like it'll be one of the more interesting ones. They have mortar cannons on their backs, the ability to deploy dome shields, and even glide through the air to perform a ground pound attack using an arm-mounted shield. Now, we also get a glimpse at another strike in which you face an oversized shank called Sabre 2, which takes place in a bunker underneath the Cosmodrome called Bunker War 4, and this is part of a quest called A Cry for Help. Its description reads, The Tale of a Golden Age Relic Calling from the Cosmodrome. The final strike we've yet to see is called The Sunless Cell, and features a boss called Alak Hull, the Dark Blade, who wields this enormous axe. Now, a lack hull was actually present on the moon when Eris and her fire team went down into the pit to kill Crota. Following the raid, a lack hull and his consort, Virok, rebelled against Oryx. Why they did this, we don't know. But once Oryx defeated a lack hull, he imprisoned him in the sunless cell for eternity. Our mission is now to infiltrate the sunless cell and put an end to a lack hull before he can rise once again. As for Virok, her whereabouts are currently a mystery and will be a story for another time. Now, before I go, here's something a little different. As you may know, earlier this month, I was invited to Gamescom along with my clan Peasant Guard to play the Taken King. Well, the main reason why I was actually there was to film a Peasant Guard documentary with PlayStation Access, and that'll be coming out tomorrow, the 23rd of August at 4pm UK time on PlayStation Access's channel. Here's a teaser. I'm Tony, known as also Biowolf93. I'm Oki. My name is Alan, aka More Console. My name is Bife. So my name is Andrew, or Alan Go About Unknown Player. My name is Martin, otherwise known as Destiny Overwatch on the internet, and I'm part of Peasant Guard. We're going to take on Gamescom together. Activision invited me out to Gamescom, and so I was so excited I couldn't even sleep. For Activision and Sony to bring us together is really cool because it's something that definitely wouldn't have happened by itself. For the first time, we're all in the same place at once. It's pretty crazy, really. It's an awesome experience, honestly. 